Previously on Keeping Up with Xavier. It's like week one, talk show week two, Labor Day, had a little rest, week three LA, week four Teen Vogue, and you're premiering um, the sequel to your piece. Week five, gave editorial shoot. Week six, gave, oh, you're going back home to Atlanta because it is your fall break and you're choreographing three solos. I mean, there's always gonna be so many things going on. So the question is always, can you keep up? Coming up on Keeping Up with Xavier. Hi, Zay Stills. Welcome back to another video. Rehearsal, day one. <laughs> a new year, same me, but new energy. Now I go to Juilliard, girl, you can't compete with me. Um, hello, I hate to hit up the drama, girl, boy, Xavier could never be the problem. It's Xavier Channel, and what about it? Xavier Channel, come on, it's Xavier Channel. Welcome to season one, episode two of Keeping Up with Xavier. This episode, I'll be walking you through the process of creating the sequel to my most iconic piece, Welcome to the Jew. This piece is called HBC Jew, A Juilliard Homecoming. So basically the process of this whole piece really began a year in advance. Um, really right after I knew I was going to make history and creating the first hip hop dance in Juilliard's history to touch the main stage, I knew that I wanted to do a hip hop dance, but at the same time, I knew that if I was going to do another hip hop dance, it had to be bigger, it had to be better, it had to be longer, it needed to have more people, it needed to have different effects. The first hip hop dance incorporated majorette dance styles, voguing dance styles, raw hip hop Atlanta elements that I personally enjoy, but it also signified just different creative aspects. It had a really big lighting effect that the lights dimmed and it was flashlights, which was Probably one of the biggest highlights of the piece, I feel as though the crowd got most excited in that moment. And I was trying to find, particularly in this process, different moments to not exactly replicate or copy that time in the piece, but to create an element of surprise. So in thinking about a sequel to Welcome to the Jew, I've always seen like Bring It On, I've always seen just any type of cheer or dance related movie, most of the time the sequels are like the homecoming. And I was like, okay, let me do that. Now, let me clarify something. This is not the second hip hop dance that I've done at Juilliard. This is the sequel to Welcome to the Juice specifically. This happens to be the third dance that I did at Juilliard because the first dance that I did was, and so it begins in my freshman year, followed by Welcome to the Jew, which would be the second. And now HBC Jew, a Juilliard homecoming, which would be the third. So, it is giving very much Welcome to the Jew Part 2, but with it being the 50th anniversary of hip-hop. And hip-hop is in, or originated from Black culture, this dance will be highlighting different elements of Black hip-hop dance. Mm -hmm. That's right. And because it is September, and because everyone's coming back to school, and you know, Everyone's being welcomed home. It's going to be a homecoming theme. <laughs> and the <laughs> theme of the dance is going to be called HBC Jew. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. So we'll be touching on a little bit of Maze Red, we'll be touching on a little bit of Vogue, it definitely is really ghetto. There's also <laughs> Steph. Fuck oh. yeah! 
There is Steph in the room seeing you, and also accompanying us with our regular music mix will be live music. Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh. 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 You're going to see me. You're going to bring a band in? <laughs> so then I did my research and I also was influenced by the universe. The universe sent me some great signs of inspiration and aspiration in creating this piece. I was watching uh, The Dance 100, I think it's a show on Netflix, and one of the choreographers did a homecoming s type of routine for one of the challenges. And I was like, oh, like, yes, that makes sense, but exactly how does that look on a Juilliard stage? Also within like, looking at Beyonce's Coachella performance, looking at some old videos of like Chris Brown and Stomp the Yard, um, and thinking about Drumline and thinking about all of those different things, I knew that I wanted to give it a HBCU type of feeling. So then over time, I created the name HBC Jew, a Juilliard homecoming officially. Because I was often not here at school and just everywhere in between in the month of September, Oftentimes I found myself coming into this space and choreographing routines, or not really choreographing routines, but choreographing combos to songs before the day of rehearsal. So every single day, it kind of went like this. I would come in, I would be like, okay, this is the song that I have. I'm going to choreograph it, not necessarily the night before, but maybe like two nights before, a week before. And then I would always have material coming into the space. So that every time I came into the space, I would give the dancers a new combo just so that we could like blaze through material because we didn't have enough rehearsals. This out so y'all can see yourselves. Okay. So we're gonna make this fast. So basically, the dance is done in my head. Um, I have all the choreography done. I'm just gonna teach y'all the rest of that today and we'll kind of like workshop a little formation, doop de doop. 
But after today, you'll learn, you'll know all the choreography. So then it's just like putting you here, putting you there. You may go left, you may go right, you may go up, you may go down. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can we do the very first one? Like the the workout solos. Hey, boom. This process really was just something that was new. Like creating a whole six minute hip hop production with live music, musicians, more dancers, different formations, different costume aesthetics, different relationships and partnerships because it's not the same dancers as last year. We have new dancers that it's their first time being in their school. We also have veterans that have been in every single one of my hip hop processes or every single one of my processes in general. And we also have people that I have a great relationship with, but people I'm just not forming relationships with within this piece. So within a lot of the different relationship demographics and dynamics, it was really, really nice to create a space where everyone felt comfortable and we were all learning different things about ourselves. I am obsessed with every single dancer a part of this process. They are amazing humans. They are quite funny, <laughs> creative um, characters and personalities. And I believe that my aura and my energy and my relationship to both the art form, my choreography, and knowing who I am as a choreographer allowed them to feel more comfortable in the space. Which is why we could joke around, throw shade, but also in the same instance get a lot of things done. Oh. Here we are. Let's just... Go around and say how this process has been. And then I will ask. I'm Yasmina, I'm a first year dancer, and um, I'm so grateful for like, this opportunity and being in this process. I've learned a lot from all these amazing dancers, and I'm so excited to put our work on stage and do our work on stage. Hi, my name is Araya, I'm a second year. And this process has been so much fun, getting to know all the dancers in the space. And I'm excited to share a very principal part of black culture with Juilliard for this performance. Hi, I'm Katrina. I'm a second year dancer. And this process has been so fun. It was nice to get to know other dancers outside of my class. and. Um, I'm excited to do hip hop again. I'm not being able to do hip hop all the time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm a third year dancer. I'm excited to do this piece because I feel like every time Xavier does a hip hop piece, people see like a different side of me that I don't usually show. And then this process has been a lot different just because Xavier, you have had like less time, but it all came together really quickly and really like 
coherently, so. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Kaden. I'm a second year. Um, I'm grateful again to be in, to share black culture with Juilliard again. Um, it's part two, so we're ready to get lit. <laughs> That's yeah. right. And I, I'm just grateful for the sense of community we have and that we've created also, mm -hmm. that we've built upon. And I hope to keep that building after this process. So yeah. Um, hi, I'm Amarion. Well, you guys call me Mari. Um, I'm a second year dancer. <clears throat> what I'm excited about, I, I'm just excited to show the girls, you know. <laughs> How we get down at HBC Jew. The girl. Yeah. Yes. Um, and this process, it was so much fun. No shade in the beginning. I was like, okay, like scared. I was like, girl, did I, did I lose my touch with hip hop? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I owe back again. Nicki Minaj I was having so much trouble. I couldn't think of no step, but yeah. it, came, it came together really, really well. The process was like really, really fun, you know, um, just like last year's process. And like, just to see how last year's piece and this year's piece like you like elevate it you like you have musicians we got whistles we got stuff it's like okay it's giving a musical a production. <laughs> you know so i'm just excited i'm just you know i'm just excited for everyone to see you know the growth in your choreography mm -hmm. right. hi i'm caleb i'm a first year dancer um, I'm excited to like have some fun on stage. I haven't done hip hop in like two years. Um, so like I'm really excited to like get back on stage and have some fun and you know just like let loose. Um, but this process was really cool because I got to know a bunch of upperclassmen and really like you know bond with people and yeah. Hi you guys, I'm Brianna, I'm a first year dancer, and I'm just really excited to be in this room with all these talented individuals, but especially as a first year dancer, it's my first time performing at Juilliard, so the fact that it's like hip hop, I'm like, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> but this process, honestly, it's been really insightful because I feel like I got to like see each and every single one of your guys' styles with this style and like really inspiring because I got to take every single day and gain something from especially Xavier and watching you get down whenever you would show the combo. Like, Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah I just feel like I am gaining so much more like information from you guys as well as like friendships and yeah it was just such a beautiful process. Yeah. Hey it's Peaches, third year dancer and I'm really excited for what audience is going to feel when they see this piece because it's brilliant. Hi, I'm Miles. I'm a third year dancer and I'm excited to get ghetto with the audience. Hi, I'm Lamonte, first year. I loved it so much. Oh my god, hey y'all! Um, I'm Tyrone, I'm a fourth year dancer and I'm just excited to show Juilliard what hip hop looks like this year in Xavier's eyes. Mm. Oh. Xavier Pearl, Miss Teen Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> this one of 20. <laughs> it's no shade. This whole process has been amazing. Like at first I was like stressed because I was like, okay, there's like, I knew so much was going to happen while I was doing this process. Like in the summer, I knew I was going to go to Orlando. I like coming back, I knew I was going to be gone to go to LA. And then I also knew this was coming out like, while I was in Europe, like I was like, oh my goodness, so much is happening in the first month of school and I think I'm gonna do a hip hop dance with more people, live music, it's gonna be longer, and we're gonna have some type of prop. Mm, I don't know how that's gonna happen. But it came together and I'm just really excited and really like grateful. I'm trying to like hold my emotions right now because it's just like a lot of things are like going in and out. A lot of people are like reaching out. A lot of people like wanna see like what I'm getting ready to do because I talked about this on the talk show. So like once this video is done, then it will be sent to her. And then like all these other people that are like trying to figure out like what I'm doing. So I'm excited, but I'm also like, whew. And I'm pretty sure y'all can feel that because as it got close to the performance, I was like, uh-uh. I'm like, I'm just like, we gotta get this together. But I feel like everyone in one of my processes is a member of my dream team. Like I feel like when people can't do the process, I'm like, that was supposed to happen. When people can do the process, that's supposed to happen. And 
Yeah, like we start off with 15, or I think we start off with 17. And then now we're at 13, I feel like 13 was the right mix because looking at the space and everything else that's happening, I'm like, mm-hmm, we needed a cute little 13 because even with 13, we over here like, ooh, we don't come on the <laughs> So. Up on top of the audience. Yeah, all of it, all of it, but I feel that. I think my biggest takeaway is like realizing how much of a giver I am. Which is nice because I didn't know I like really had that quality. Most of the time I'm like, mm, what are you doing? Mm. But it felt nice to like be in a process where I realized like how much I give, not only as a choreographer but as like an artist. Because even when like I was formulating the choreography, I was like, okay, this is gonna be majorette. But then I just I took like this hills combo that I was supposed to do, and I was like, mm, y'all learn this, and now that's the choreo. But then it makes sense. Like it's not like it doesn't make sense and. I don't know, it's crazy seeing how things align. Seeing how like the step section align and it took me like two hours to learn how to do that myself in my room. Um, <laughs> that was the whole thing. And even just like, yeah, this process was different. Like every day like I came in with like a new combo or a new something. Natalie, yes. I say something? Yeah. I feel like this being like the third piece that you've done, like we did less rehearsals mm -hmm. for sure. And yeah. I was like, okay, but we did way more. Yeah. So I feel like that speaks to your growth and like how you manage the process. And then also like every year, like you start the process and I just start thinking to myself like, what did I get myself into? Like, crap, like why am I here? But then how did I just like, <laughs> no, no, like I don't trust myself, but you yeah. trust us. Yeah. Oh. And then you like throw us into the deep end, but help us and it works. But that's yeah. kind of like what goes through my head every time. but. I feel like I was able to get there quicker because of how we moved. Yeah, Brianna. Sorry, this is very random. But also, like, I didn't like realize that you were gonna be in the piece at mm. first, so I was kind of freaking out. I was like, okay, you gotta, we all gotta hold this energy that Xavier is like, mm. showing us in the room. And then once you came out, uh oh, back again when we first did it, you went through. I was like, okay. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Got it. But yeah, like, it's just been great. I've been really, really excited. I've just been really, I'm still taking it all in. I'm still like processing everything that's happening, but it's just been a blessing, a blessing. It's really, it's really nice to see like how things work. And like every single time I'm like, I'm working with people that I've never worked with before. I have no idea how they're gonna think of choreography. I have no idea like if I made the right decision in my brain choosing an odd number, because I think last year was even. It was like six and six, and I was like, okay, this makes sense for mission wise. But then, like, it just all came together. Yeah. I'm at a loss for words. I keep saying the same things over and over again. Yes, Amari. Can I just say how, like, intentional you are? Mm. Mm. I feel like, because I wasn't in the first piece, but, you know, I definitely watched your YouTube. Like, okay, <laughs> yes, girl. But, um, you know, like, the titles, the songs, the choreography, like everything is just so precise in what you do. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say that. Because I was just thinking about it just now, like thinking about the titles, like And So It Begins, Welcome to the Jew, HBC Jew, like yeah. I'm just excited for next year's time. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what crazy. in the world am I going to do? Because that's the end, that's yeah. the finale. I'm yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the end. The end. Yeah. And so it, and so it is. Oh Wait. Yeah. But um. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yes. I, oh. Yeah. Now, now let's go. Yeah. Whoever. Okay, so I want to share like before I came into Julia, I was watching the first two pieces, and I just really want to say you really make my. Like impression about Julia more diverse than like, oh we are doing hip hop and it's, yeah it's just so nice and it's really inspiring and the fact that I'm here now in the piece mm. is just like really surreal and I'm just thank you so much for like trusting me you know? yeah <laughs> like being at Juilliard we know like you can do so many different things like whether it's dance styles or like choreography styles but you do this so easily like I don't know if it comes easy to you but like it flows out of you so quickly and I'm like I feel like that has to be a part of what you're 
mm. than I did with the future. I don't know if it will yeah. be like immediately right away, but like you just do it so well. Thank you. I think a big, the biggest thing is like trusting your intuition. Because like most of the time, like you'll think you have some crazy idea. Like when I thought of this, I said, Xavier, really? You're gonna have a silence moment for step? Does that make sense? But then after a while, I was like, we gonna have to go with it because I don't know what else is gonna go in that section right there. So it's really just a testament to like, really like taking any crazy idea that you have and just being like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I was like, okay, HBC Jew. I just kept getting like homecoming themes. I was like, why, why coming home? And I'm just like, it makes sense. We're coming back to school. Like it's the first workshop. Okay, now how do we further expand this idea? Okay, black culture. Okay, what does that look like? Okay, there's elements of step. When I watch Howard, there's a whole like majorette team that's coming down. There's like different marching band situations, all this other thing, other things that's going on. There's a live music portion and then Thinking about that, it gets overwhelming. But then like once you're like step by step, it just makes sense. So I would just say, whatever you do, any crazy idea that you have, it's worthwhile. Yeah, just do it. And then if you don't know how to do it, then just talk to me. We'll talk about it. I'll be real with you. I'll be like, mm -hmm, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, but we can't go about it that way. But um, yeah, I won't hold up for too long. Thank y'all. Um, I will see you Thursday. We're gonna get lit. It's gonna be exciting. I'm excited. HBCU, it taught me to challenge myself no matter what I'm given, to understand that although it may not make sense at first, it will make sense in the end, especially if it's an idea that I'm really passionate about. I just don't know a lot of times how it's gonna get done until the universe shows me. I'm very grateful for my relationship to the universe because I am constantly a sponge and everything that I see and everything that I watch, I'm inspired by and I often use it to build on top of ideas that are already present in my mind. I was quite nervous in creating this routine. I believe a lot of my nervousness stemmed from just creating a big impact in the hip hop category already at Juilliard. I feel as though my first piece really set the tone for what I was doing because it was unapologetically me. And doing that and that making history, I was like, oh my God, I want to do another one, but it has to be better. Not for the expectations of others, but for the expectation that I have of myself. I don't ever want to be the same person that I was last year. Whether that's mentally, physically, spiritually, psychologically, I don't ever want to be in the same place that I was. I always want to be continuing to grow and to learn. Honestly and truthfully, I feel as though I outdid myself in this process. Once again, I have impressed myself with what I can do and what I am capable of. And it not only excites me, but it makes me extremely nervous for next year because next year will not only be my fourth and final year here at the Juilliard School, it will be the last hip hop dance that I create and I know it has to go big or go home. For right now, I know that it's gonna be amazing. I know that there are already ideas and things that are manifesting in my mind about what I'm going to do and who I'm going to choose. I am optimistic that it will be more people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be around the same length because we only, our max is six minutes, so it'll probably be around the same length. I'm pretty sure I'll be even busier next year than I am this year, and that will manifest its own problems and solutions. And all I can say is that I'm excited because I know that I will be able to keep up with just where I'm going. So I thank you all for watching season one, episode two of Keeping Up With Xavier, because there's always gonna be so much going on in the world. The question is, can you keep up? Thank you, Quinn. Thank you.
Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Hi, everyone. No. <laughs> eight, seven, what? eight. They didn't even make a sound. Ah, I found a way to let you in, but I never really had a doubt. Standing in the line of your halo, I got my angel now. It's like I've been awakened. Every rule I had you breaking. It's the risk that I'm taking. Next week on Keeping Up with Xavier. Hi, I'm Jocelyn. I'm a second year dancer at Juilliard. Today's my birthday. Ah.